Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Jeff Bailey and welcome back to the channel. It has been quite a while and I do apologize for that, but that's just how these things go sometimes. I had some time on my hands today, a um, couple new knives in since I last recorded. I guess it shouldn't be too surprising. I'm looking at YouTube and it's telling me I haven't put anything out for seven months. What am I doing? Oh well, you know, day job, family, all that stuff, that's what I've been doing. But I still am getting the odd knife in. And uh, I wanted to try to share some with you guys. I'm going to try to keep these shorter, sweet, and to the point videos. This is the GEC 78 that we're looking at here. This is the uh, the Sandbar Stag. Came out, um, what was this? Probably January, I think. You know, so they have a 17 on there. I think they were working on them at the tail end of 17. I'm um, I'm looking at my email right now, trying to trying to confirm that. But yeah, it looks like I was getting the getting the emails from Collector Knives that my, the pre-order was ready right around then. Typical Northfield um, packaging here in the tube. But anyway, yeah, this is the seven seventy eight. They did the American Jack on these. Did a couple different things. So this version I got, I went and swung for the uh, the Sandbar Stag. Which of course is typically the, the the real dedicated stag that we see now, a deer, uh, Asiatic deer, I believe, pretty widely available. Um, looks like it's a swell end kind of style, just slightly. This end's just slightly larger than this end. Um, got the Northfield ornamentation. You know, you can see the uh, the lined bolsters here, and then of course we got the end cap. Um, and then right there before I even open it on that single spear you see the long pull. I have used this knife a couple times. Um, cut some food with it so I've actually already started to patina it. It's going to be hard to capture that with the uh, the filming light I've got going here but that's kind of why the uh, the mark there is just kind of hazy. Um, in, a, in a different light without quite as much glare you could kind of just catch the patina that I've got on there. And these, these um, full polished blades on the Northfield models are always hard to keep absolutely patina clear unless you legitimately don't use them or you always wipe them down but um, I don't know I've decided to try not to worry so much about that still worry about obviously real corrosion rust and things like that try to get a look at the markings here I don't know when they started doing this GEC CAR this must be a new thing um, wish I knew more about what happened there? I'm assuming they're they're differentiating their steel stamps and that this is indeed a carbon steel blade. That's the only thing that I can think of that makes sense. If you do know more, please let me know in the comments. If you know more about the story behind the uh, the changing of the markings there, of course, on this side we do have the Northfield and the Northfield unexcelled marking. As you can see there, but otherwise they're typical long spear blade with that swedge. You can really see the patina in that sort of uh, not straight on light there. That is on both sides, the swedge, down to a nice point. It's a very nice shaped blade overall. Um, and I've never really had any stag that just had this really deep mean grooves in it, which is what I was looking for. Of course, you can hear the, the pretty typical GEC walk and talk. We've got a half stop there. Um, just slightly raised, not bad. Close is really strong. Obviously, it's all smooth here, um, and pretty pretty decently centered as well. You can see there. But yeah, this uh, this particular one I picked out. I actually didn't even get all that early on. You kind of have to get on when he says and first come first serve, taking their pick from the cut. But this one I, I liked. I mean, it's it's decently matched. It's a little. A little bit ridiculous on this side here you look at the you see the how deep those ridges and canyons go uh, the grooves on this 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 stag pretty cool stuff which of course you know this varies every piece is going to be different they're taking those uh, those slabs of, of the antlers right and of course sanding them down exposes the white uh, under parts and then the, where the where the sander couldn't get to that's your dark grooves there so that's the difference and over time this material does change um, I do have an old stag knife here which I don't know if I've shown in a video before but I thought I'd get it out real quick while we're talking about uh, stag knives and you can see this one here 
Um, this was, man, actually, which which was this knife? This was a, a Stay Sharp uh, blade here. You can kind of see. Um, pretty old knife here, but you can see how, how the, the sort of coloration over the years takes on with the stag. Um, some of those those big deep ridges kind of get worn down just naturally over time and it kind of mellows out a little bit so we'll see how this one goes I thought it'd be neat to actually have one of these that I had footage of it when it was you know nice and new like this and and well defined and sharp and, and see what happens over time as it gets worn and smoothed down we'll see if it has that same kind of character that, that this knife has but again this has been the sandbar stag GEC 78 came out about in January. I don't. You might be able to still find some floating around. Apologies on the lack of timeliness of this, but here it is. Hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, and stay tuned. We'll try to knock a couple of these out while I'm in the filming mood here, so we can take a look at these knives. Thanks everybody. Uh, to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.